الحمد لله وغفر الذنب وقابل التوب شديد العقاب للطول لا إله إلا هو إليه المصير من يجادل في آيات الله إلا الذين كفروا فلا يغرورك تقلبهم في البلاد وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه الهادي إلى صراط الله المستقيم شهادة صادقة طيبة مباركة عليها نحيا وعليها نموت وفي سبيلها نجاهد وبها وعليها نلقى الله أباد الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون But dear brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds and forgive our sins. Ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and protect our families and protect us in our masajid, in our homes and everywhere. Ameen. Ameen. During the last week, I was following up to see the reactions of the incident that happened to our brothers and sisters in New Zealand. Different conferences, different speeches, different imams and scholars all over the world, TV interviews, debates, analysis, trying to select the most beneficial points to share with my beloved community today to reflect and to learn lessons, to deduce benefits from the incidents that happened, that happened in our life. This is a Quranic methodology and this is a prophetic attitude that we learn from our current events to shape our futures and to take precautions for ourselves and for our life and for our religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and told the Sahaba, if you have an incident of fear or security, you have to think and to deduce some lessons and benefits. <coughs> Not just to go and spread rumors and talk about it, aimless conversation, conversation, but you have to learn from it. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala criticized the hypocrites, the people who wanted to maintain kind of instability in the Muslim community, just to go and spread rumors without learning from it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَوْ رَدُّوهُ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ وَإِلَىٰ أُولِي الْأَمْرِ مِنْهُمْ لَعَلِمَهُ الَّذِينَ يَسْتَنْبِطُونَهُ مِنْهُمْ If they bring this issue for the people who have wisdom and they have knowledge, they will learn, they will deduce, different lessons and wisdom to shape their, their futures. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam in the Quran, in details, the plans of the disbelievers and the criminals, how they think, how they plan, how they maintain a kind of animosity against the Muslim community, their attributes, their methodology of thinking, to learn about it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, وَكَذَلِكَ نُفَصِّلُ الْآيَاتِ وَلِتَسْتَبِينَ سَبِيلُ الْمُجْرِمِينَ We give you details and different plans for your enemy to be able to understand their way of thinking, to understand their plans, to secure yourself and to prepare for them. وَعِدُّ لَهُمْ Allah told the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, teach Muslim community Urge, teach, educate, instigate people, give them alert and consciousness about their current incidents 
so they can secure themselves and protect their deen and their religion and their and plan for their their futures we learn a lot of things from the, the current incidents this is a beautiful thing about our deen about our religion about the methodology of muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, that we always relevant to the current and the contemporary time Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in these times used to teach like the Quran used to place a kind of tranquility and and peace in the hearts of the Muslim Ummah at the time of troubles and disturbance We do not fear we do not have any kind of fear from the death Al-Mawt like Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says in the Quran is an exact determined time from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا كَانَ لِنَفْسٍ أَن تَمُوتَ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ كِتَابًا مُؤَجَّلًا No soul will die, but with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very exact timing for everybody. وَنَحْنُ نُؤْمِنُ بِالْقَضَاءِ وَالْقَدَرِ We believe in the qadr of Allah, the predestination that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for every single person. For every single incident that happen, happens in this universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Hadid, Any calamity that afflicts people on the earth or in themselves, but has been written. In a, in a book with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, this is very easy to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our brothers and sisters in New Zealand or in any time or any place in the face of the earth, they do not miss any second from their life. لَن تَمُوتَ نَفْسٌ جِبْرِيلُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ told our Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم إن روح القدس نَفَثَ فِي رُوعِي أَلَّا تَمُوتَ نَفْسٌ حَتَّى تَسْتَكْمِلَ رِزْقَهَا وَأَجَلَهَا فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَأَجْبِلُوا فِي الطَّلَبِ No soul will die until it will receive every single, you know, every single thing from his, its provision and from its time, its age. This is the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام وَلَا يَحْدُسُ شَيْءٌ فِي أَرْضِ اللَّهِ شَيْءٌ فِي أَرْضِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا بِإِرَادَةِ اللَّهِ Everything by the will of Allah, by the permission of Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ شَيْئًا هَيَّا لَهُ أَسْبَابًا If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted something to happen, Allah will facilitate the reason for this to happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the gates, will, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shape the reason for this to happen. Some, the people die in their beds. The people die in the hospital. The people die with, with sickness. The people die in car crash. The people die by gunshot. The people die in different reasons. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told people that no escape from, from, from the death. فالموت واحد تعددت الأسباب وما الأسباب والموت واحد ومن لم يموت بالسيف مات بغيره تعددت الأسباب والموت واحد وفي you don't die through the gunshot or the sword you will die with something else anyway the reason is different but the death the death is the death like that the, the poets mentioned and he Allah سبحانه وتعالى said that to the munafiqeen who refused was not happy because they went to fight with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu in the Battle of Uhud. They said, لو كان لنا من العبر شيء ما قتلنا ها هنا. If we have anything to do with the decision to give to go out with Muhammad to fight the disbeliever, we would not die in this place. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala immediately responded to them and they said, قل لو كنتم في بيوتكم لبرز الذين كتب عليهم القتل إلى مضاجعهم. وليبتلي الله ما في صدوركم وليمحص ما في قلوبكم والله عليم بذات الصدور الله told them even if you are sitting in your homes if the time of death comes to you unwillingly you are going to go out from your home to sit in the same spot that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided for you this is 
what we believe, my dear brothers and sisters Islam. We believe that our brothers and sisters, that they will take their rights in the Day of Judgment. In the day when people will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَلَا يَظُنُّ أُولَٰئِكَ أَنَّهُمْ مَبْعُثُونَ لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ يَوْمَ يَقُومُ النَّاسُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Don't they think that they are going to be resurrected for the great day, the day of judgment, when the people will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the killed one who will ask the killers, why you killed me in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? جَاءَ رَجُلْ إِلَى سَيْدِنَا عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بْنَ عَبَّاسِ وَقَلَا يَبْنَ عَبَّاسِ is telling Ibn Abbas, هل للقاتل من توبة? Is any repentance? Is there any repentance for the killer? قال فكلته أمه. He said, me, his mother, lose him. يأتي المقتول. سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. I heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in the hadith, the killed one, he will come in the day of judgment. And his face is bleeding. Telling and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying to Allah, Ya Rabb, sal hadha fi ma qatalani. Ask him why he killed me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will judge between them. The first thing it will be judged in the day of judgment, according to the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al qatl the killing, al dima the blood of people, something really precious in the sight of Allah. And in the skill of the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام, ولا تقتلوا نفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق, ولا يقتلوا نفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق, killing the innocent and civilians and the peaceful people, the worshiper, something is really forbidden and severely punished according to our religion, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. This is the religious spiritual guidance that we have to pay attention for, but at the same time. We have to pay attention for other things to avoid the reality around us. We should not place our heads in the sand, ignoring the great picture around us and what's happening over there. What happened to our brothers and sisters? Everywhere is it is inevitable results for what we are hearing every single day in the unfair media from the radical and extremist and xenophobic people, you know, instigated people against the Muslim in unfair process, and we have to pay attention for that. If we read the, the manifesto and the document that that killer has published for people, and how much he praised a lot of radical extremists and bigots, people, you will, we will realize as a Muslim that this kind of hate is propagated, funded, disseminated through organized group all over the globe. And we have to pay attention for that and prepare ourselves and do something for that. He mentioned different names, different dates for famous battles and genocide against the Muslim community throughout the history. Perpetuating and feeling proud of this kind of killing and genocide against, against the Muslim in a wicked process that we have to pay attention, pay attention for it, my dear brothers and sisters of Islam. He mentioned the names and the dates of genocide and massacres for Muslims that happened in Sweden. When 21 years old individual, he entered the message, the Islamic school, and he killed the children and Muslim teachers. He mentioned the incident that happened in Canada on the hand of 27 years old person, he enter, attack the Islamic Center and they kill the Muslim, fight the masjid. He mentioned the date of the battle through over the history, genocide that has been executed against the Muslim community. He was playing a song that we heard, and this song firstly was authored and written to celebrate the genocide that has been afflicted against the Muslim community, the, the Bosnian, Bosnian Muslim community, 8,000 Muslims was killed in just one week on the hand of Radovan Karadzic. He killed all that, those people and he was convicted on murder by the International Criminal Court. And he's, you know, so proud of that, my dear brother, the sister Islam. He even mentioned the dates of f famous battles that happened through the Christian leaders from long time ago 
and then the Battle of Cyprus, Cyprus, when the Muslim opened Constantinople, and they started to fight the Christian people, and they captured 300 Muslim soldiers. And when the Muslim tried to free the Muslim soldiers, they discovered that they killed all 300 Muslim soldiers in the same day, the same day of arrest. Many things that had been mentioned so proud, you can tell one who can learn, who can reflect upon it, upon it and learn many things by the brother and sister Islam. One of it, that the unfair media that always trying to label the terrorism that is just, just for Islam. Repeating the name that terrorism is labeled and, and connected to the Islam and the Islamic religion. Terrorism can come from all faith from all extremists, all of our faith and religions, my dear brothers and sister Islam. But in spite of this, we have to be here. We have to stick with the methodology of the Quran, not to generalize any kind of crimes, to make it for all people and all Christians. This motivation is a religious motivation, but we do not accuse all Christian people for this kind of behavior from just one individual of a group or our group of people. We are fear, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us this. Laysu sawa'a. This person does not exemplify the teaching or all the teaching or all the Christian people. And you see all over the world that people come to our message to support Muslims and to show their support and their solidarity to the Muslim community. <coughs> we appreciate that from, from them and our Quran told us that we have to be fair and just with those people in different occasions and in different time in different calamities to have the right thing to think in, in, that, in that time also we have to read our history and we have that, that guy it is very impossible for the person to go through very different occasions you know through ever the history going very back even to the time of Sayyidina Omar ibn Abdul Aziz he wrote this, 721, this is the date, this is the Gregorian date. But if you go to see, this is 102 Hijri year. This is at the time of the Imawid time, at the time of Omar ibn Abdul Aziz. And the battle of, of Andalusia is called Balat al-Shuhada. And the Muslims army at that time was defeated on, on the... And the leader of the Muslim, his name Abdul Rahman al Ghafiq, was killed in these battles. And was so proud because they killed the Muslim army and they, they, they won in this battle. This means that he is the educated person. And as a group of people thinking with him, where we are from our history, where we are from our victory, where we are from our Sira, where we are from our Majd. Are the victory that our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and our Sahaba and our heroes has achieved to transfer this tribute of religion for us. We need to think about it. We need to read it. We need to spend some time with ourselves, with our children, to teach and to learn about history <coughs> and how the Islam was so feared with people and did not commit any genocide against people, my dear brother and sister Islam. And we can teach people how the Islam and how the Quran till now maintain the sense of fear, fearness and justice with all people, with all, with all religions. This is a good opportunity for the Muslim community to show the beauty of Islam, to mix with people, to show the manners of Islam in our, in our affairs, in our behaviors, in our actions, in our dealings with those people. Without any compromise for our values and our identity, our identity that we, we need to maintain in ourselves and our children and to teach them Islam. And Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us this is a very long continuous process of confrontation and fighting with those kind of people till the day of judgment. وَمَنْ يَرْتَدِدْ مِنْكُمْ عَنْ دِينِهِ فَيَمُتْ وَهُوَ كَافِرٍ فَأُولَٰئِكَ حَبِطَتْ أَعْمَالُهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you have to be ready. You have to prepare yourself. You have to pay attention for this kind of battle. It's going on. 
is to continue us or to prepare our souls and our generation, our children, the coming time as it is hopeful time for the Muslim Ummah and we have the glad tidings of the victory of the Muslim Ummah in the Quran and in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad but a lot of trials and sacrifice will come in the future time. We need to be prepared for that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعِدُّوا لَهُمْ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ مِنْ قُوَّةٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prepare yourself for whatever power, the power of knowledge, the power of manner, the power of science, the power of any kind of power that we can maintain and initiate in our life, in our community, in our families. This is one of the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to look for. The Muslims always relevant to the current time and the incident, incidents that happened in the Muslim Ummah all over the world. We are not just here in Huntsville. We represent the whole Muslim Ummah. According to the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam, just we are, Allah, we are like the one body. One body in the Muslim Ummah, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we cannot forget, forget our brothers and sisters in Palestine, in Gaza, and their suffering, and their disturbance, and their need, and the help that they need from the Muslim Ummah, through our dua, and our money, and our donations. We cannot forget the Masjid Al-Aqsa, the Masjid Masra Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that they are trying to put the Masjid Al-Aqsa in collapse and to destroy the Masjid Al-Aqsa. We cannot forget the Masjid Al-Aqsa and our brothers who have rebought around the Masjid Al-Aqsa, trying to close the doors of the Masjid Al-Aqsa every single day, hurting and pushing and killing a lot of people, youth and women and the children, closing the doors, prevent, preventing people from praying inside the Masjid Al-Aqsa. This is something that we have to make intention in our hearts to make dua and to donate and whatever kind of help that in our hands we can do. We cannot forget our brothers in Myanmar, in Burma, Muslim, Muslim, Rohingya, Muslim. They are under persecution and torture and different incidents and troubles for the Muslim Ummah everywhere. We have to pay attention for that and prepare ourselves from any kind of trouble and disturbance through our strong Iman and Deen to go through, through this kind of trials and fitan to stay in faith and to make this kind of dua and to bring Muslims together to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to initiate this kind of power that bring the victory and respect for the Muslim Ummah again. We cannot forget our brothers and sisters in Uyghurs, in, in China. They are putting them in incarceration camps, you know, in a process called the radicalization process, forcing them for something contradicting their religion, eating pork or dealing with haram stuff. We cannot forget about the Muslim all over the world. We just one, we just are one body. We cannot forget about different incident everywhere. Sometimes I don't know. I'm not aware about it. But we cannot forget also about some Muslims from our. They claim that they are religion. They, they are Muslims, and they claim the religion of Islam. Muslim leaders, they urge and they encourage for this kind of racism and xenophobia from our Muslim leaders, secularists, and they encourage against Muslim Ummah in different situations, different times. Sometimes they find some organization to be against Muslim. Our role to disclaim those people. To disclaim these people in this dunya, <coughs> and even if there, it is very clear, they have kufr bawah like this, kufr bawah, very crystal clear disbelief to stand against Muslim everywhere and to encourage people against Muslim, to, 
calling for mon monitoring the Islamic centers in the West, calling for monitoring the Muslims and put them under siege and investigating the Muslim. They are claiming they're Muslim leaders and they are enemy. They are doing exactly like that wicked guy has done with the Muslim Ummah. He killed people physically and they are killing people politically and financially and by urging the people against Muslim Ummah. The summary of this khutbah, my dear brother and sister Islam. Number one, spiritual guidance comes from the Quran and the Sunnah at the time of difficulty and calamity. We believe in Allah, we believe in the Qadr, we believe that nobody will die without his, without fulfilling his age and his, his time. And the killer will receive his punishment in the day of judgment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to pay attention for the reality of our enemy and to understand the way they think and their methodology and prepare ourselves spiritually and physically and to protect ourselves. We cannot, you know, leave ourselves for those people to hunt the Muslims and fight the Masaji like, like chickens. This is not Islamic thing. This is not religious thing. I understand this is a peaceful place. We are worshippers. We don't carry guns. We don't we come to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in this case, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu in the Quran at the time of danger, at the time of fear, we have to pay attention, we have to guard ourselves, we have to protect ourselves, we have to protect our masajid, our schools, our families. This is the sunnah of the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. Aqul qawli hada wa astaghfirullahi wa alaikum wa allahum wa ja'alna min alatheena istamu'una al-qawl wa attabu'una ahsana. Allahumma sunnah wa ahfazna wa adhina wa arzuqna wa tub alayna inna kanta tawab rahim. Allahumma afina wa afu'anna. Allahumma inna asaluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan wasi'a wa amala mutakabbala wa shifa'a min kulli da'a. Allahumma hayin hadhi al-umma fi amna rushdin wa azu fiha al-fa'atik. Wa yudha fiha al-umma yasibna asiyatik. ويؤمر فيه بالمعروف وينهى فيه عن المنكر اللهم انصرنا واحفظنا واهدنا وارزقنا وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم اللهم احفظنا في مساجدنا اللهم احفظنا في بيوتنا اللهم احفظنا في اموالنا اللهم احفظنا في اولادنا اللهم انزل بركات السماء والارض علينا اللهم ارفع مغتك وغضبك عنا اللهم اكشف الغمة عن الامة اللهم اكشف الغمة عن الامة اللهم اكشف الغمة عن الامة اللهم فك اسر الماسورين اللهم فرج كرب المكروبين اللهم ارحم عبادك الموحدين اللهم ارحم شهدائنا يا رب العالمين مكتوب عندك من الشهداء يا رب العالمين فضلك وكرمك يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم داوي جرحاهم اللهم داوي جرحاهم اللهم تقبل شهداءهم اللهم اطعم اخواننا الجائعين اللهم اطعم جائعهم اللهم اكس عاريهم اللهم كن لهم ناصرا ومعينا امدهم بمدد من عندك وايدهم بجند من جندك اللهم عافنا واعف عنا يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الهم والحزن ونعوذ بك من العجز والكسل ونعوذ بك من الجبن والبخل ونعوذ بك من غلبة الدين وقهر الرجال وصلي لهم وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وأقم الصلاة والصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتاب المؤمنين